Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Teens and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss factoring polynomials. It is the process of breaking a polynomial into a product of two or more polynomials. Next topic, we have the sum of two cubes. In factoring polynomials wherein we have the sum of two cubes, we have the formula a cubed plus b cubed is equal to the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a squared minus ab plus b squared. So let's have now example number one. Factor x cubed plus 8 completely. So first step is we're going to write x cubed plus 8 in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. So we have x cubed plus 2 cube. So 2 cube is the value of 8 or 8 is equal to 2 cube. That is 2 times 2 times 2. And then next is we're going to determine the value of A. The value of A is X and the value of B is 2. After finding the value of A and B, so we're going to determine now the factors of X cubed plus 8. So first is we have, we're going to get the value of A plus B, which is X plus 2. This is the value of A, and this is the value of B. And then next is, we're going to determine the value of A squared, that is X squared, minus the value of AB is X times 2, plus the value of B squared is 2 squared. Next is, we're going to simplify this factor. So we have, we will copy X plus 2, and then times the quantity of x squared minus x times 2 is equal to 2x and 2 squared is equal to 4. So therefore, x cubed plus 8 is equal to the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4. Let's have now example number 2. We will factor x cubed plus 64 completely. So first is, we're going to write x cubed plus 64 in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. And that is equal to x cubed plus 4 cubed. 64 is equal to 4 cubed. And then, so we have now x cubed plus 64 is equal to x cubed plus 4 cubed. Next is, we're going to determine the value of a and B. So the value of A is X and the value of B is 4. After finding the value of A and B, we're going to determine the value of A plus B times the quantity of A squared minus AB plus B squared. So we have now X cubed plus 64 is equal to X plus 4. So this is the value of A plus B. And the value of a squared is x squared minus a b is x times 4 plus b squared is 4 squared. Next is, we're going to simplify this factor. So we have x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus x times 4 is 4x plus 4 squared is equal to 16. So therefore, x cubed plus 64 is equal to x plus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x plus 16. For example, number 3, we have factor 27x cubed plus 125 completely. So first step, we're going to write the given polynomial in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. And we have the quantity of 3x cubed. So this is now the value of 27x cubed. Next is, we have 5 cubed. So 5 cubed is equal to 125. 5 times 5 is equal to 25 times 5 is equal to 125. 
Next is, we're going to determine the value of A and B. The value of A is 3x and the value of B is 5. After finding the value of A and B, we're going to determine now the value of A plus B times the quantity of A squared minus AB plus B squared. So we have 27x cubed plus 125 is equal to the quantity of 3x plus 5. This is the value of A plus B, wherein the value of A is 3x and the value of B is 5. And then next for A squared, we have the quantity of 3x squared minus AB is equal to 3x times 5 plus 5 squared, that is the value of B squared. Again, so A, the value of A is 3x, so therefore A squared is equal to the quantity of 3x squared minus AB is 3x times 5 plus B squared is equal to 5 squared. Next step is we're going to simplify this factor. So we have the quantity of 3x plus 5 times the quantity of the square of 3x is 9x squared minus 3x times 5 is equal to 15x plus 5 squared is equal to 25. So therefore, 27x cubed plus 125 is equal to the quantity of 3x plus 5 times the quantity of 9x squared minus 15x plus 25. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.